What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 tips and tricks. Now in the previous episodes we talked about how to access your phone, simple tricks to access your phone and make it easy to enter and we also talked about display, beautiful display, taking advantage of it, very important. Now is the next stage and that is sound. I mean sound is a very important aspect of your media device because most phones now are media devices. So let's jump into tips and tricks on how to make your sound unique and dope. So I've already opened up my settings and I'm just going to dive right into it. So we have sounds and vibration. I hit that and then we have our very first tip. Now the setting is called use volume keys for media. Now we've all been in a situation, let's be honest, we've all been in a situation where we are at a place where we are not supposed to play any media, like maybe a song or a video, but we just happened to hit that button and everything went crazy it was loud and we tried to reduce the volume but it actually ended up reducing the volume for our ringer so it was still very loud now with this toggled on i have it toggled on right now your volume rocker will only be used for your media which means that if you turn on a video anytime and you just hit this it's only going to affect your media but the interesting thing is that if your phone goes off or your phone rings it's going to be at the same level or volume level that you left it at and you can't control that so it's something you really need to think about maybe you're in the cinema maybe you're in church and someone calls you and you have this toggled on you can't really reduce your ringer until you actually access your phone and then you figure out what you're gonna do so that is something to think about maybe you want to use it maybe you don't now the next is do not disturb now i'm going into that setting and do not disturb as this name signifies is basically a feature that allows you to block out everything it mutes all calls alerts media sounds everything so maybe you're going for a meeting and you don't want to be disturbed you toggle this on now you can turn it on right now or at any point in time during your day if you want to do that and but you can also turn it on as scheduled now this is very interesting when you enter the schedule maybe let's say you're a busy man but every friday the entire office has a meeting at 4 p.m now it's a very simple thing to do so you just hit friday you select friday you set the time and it will automatically do that when it is time now this is a very interesting feature however the very cool thing is that you can allow exceptions which means that you can set a custom exception for specific numbers maybe you're married maybe your wife is at home maybe you have friends who are sick and you need to be checking up on them but you're in a meeting and if they call if do not disturb is on and you, they call they probably won't be able to reach you but if you set them as an exception they will be able to come through so you can do contacts only and you select the contact you want and everything else it's a very cool feature as a feature i recommend people to check out and it's also a very fun feature now for tip number three we go into sound quality and effects in the advanced section of sounds and vibration and we are going to be talking about dolby atmos now dolby atmos simply improves your sound experience now if we go into that you have different settings when you turn it on so you can toggle it on or off here or you can just slide down on your notification drawer and you have it right here on off now when you turn it on you have different settings you can put it on auto or if you're watching a movie you put it on movie and it will give you the best sound for your movie and films and any video or music i normally have it on on music but if you want your calls to be louder and clearer you can do the same with this so this is a very cool feature for people who are extreme audio files and want the best sound number four is gonna be a bit lengthy and this is about sound alive now this is very interesting you have the equalizer this is simple most people know you can choose if you want to pop sound for your equalizer normal and everything i don't really want to get into that and then you have these dials you can turn them maybe you're an audiophile and you really understand the audio stuff you can go to advanced to control the decibels of each thing i normally just leave it as it is and just don't bother about it but then we have adapt sound for you where you can actually create a setting or a sound profile for yourself now when you hit it it will teach you how to go about it you go to a quiet place and everything now they have a sound profile for under 30 30 to 60 over 60 years old and this is really cool for people who work in a music studio or stuff like that where there's so many audio files all over the place so when you're listening to a soundtrack everybody wants to tune the sound to the way they want you can just have your own personalized sound profile so when everybody is done messing around with the sound profile with your phone you just hit that and it comes 
comes back in. Now still on the Sound Alive is a very interesting thing. There are certain features with the sound quality effects or settings that you cannot toggle unless you put in your audio jack. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. When you put in your audio jack, it comes alive and then you can toggle it out. It also enhances the sound for your earphones and it's really, really, really great. So I'd recommend it. And I left the best for last, the most interesting and the most exciting feature for last. And that is separate app sound. Now this is a very interesting characteristic of the Note 9 and some Galaxy devices where you can select a specific app and its audio output. Right now I have it toggled onto YouTube and the audio device that will be playing any YouTube video is my Bluetooth speaker, as you can see here. So with that in mind, anytime I go into YouTube and I play a video, it will come out of my Bluetooth speaker. Even if I put in a headphone jack and I play the video from YouTube, why am I here? You're it will still play from my speaker because I told the phone that this takes precedence. Anytime my phone is connected to this Bluetooth device, play all YouTube audio out of it. Now, it gets even more interesting in the sense that let's just say you are playing music from YouTube but and your friends want to listen to music from youtube certain songs from youtube that kind of happens maybe it's a friday night you guys are just hanging and you're playing music from youtube i do that a lot and you want to listen to something else you are interested in listening to something else but your friends want to listen to this you can actually do both at the same time now these are some old studio earphones that we have in the office so this is what i'm gonna do i am actually going to play the last memory by takeoff and as, I, as you can see, I played it whilst connected to a Bluetooth speaker with YouTube on, but the sound is not coming from the YouTube, uh, sorry, the sound is not coming from the Bluetooth speaker. Where is the sound coming from? It's actually coming from my headphones. I hope you guys were able to hear that. Now, with that in mind, I can still play my YouTube video PG-13 version of Deadpool filtered to the person and of still have the sound from my headphones on I hope you guys can hear this I really hope this and all me to untie you once we're done So this is a feature I would really recommend you guys try. Try it out on your Samsung Galaxy devices. As long as it has the separate app sounds, you can multitask. This device allows you to really, really, really multitask. So you can be playing your YouTube, your friends can be enjoying the YouTube stuff, and you can be listening to your music separately. I was gonna talk about dual audio, but I will save it for the next video, which would be about connection and other cool features. So separate app sounds, you guys should really check it out. It allows you and affords you a lot of interesting things. You can be playing music from one app and then when you get a phone call, it's directed straight to your Bluetooth device so there's no interruption. It's a very, very cool feature that I recommend you guys use. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.